Jesus Christ is our salvation, life, and resurrection, says Galatians 6.14. This day, we celebrate the Last Supper of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Today was established the sacrament of the Holy Communion. We also celebrate the institution of priesthood in the Mother Church. Christ came to this world to bear our sins and to die for our forgiveness and to give us new life. By commemorating the Last Supper in the Holy Mass, we remember Christ and His boundless sacrifice and affirm our unshaken faith in Him. We also partake in the Eucharistic celebration where unleavened bread and wine are transformed into the body and blood of Christ. By consuming the Holy Eucharist, we proclaim Christ's death and resurrection until He will come again to this world. However, this is more than just a spiritual observance. We are made whole in Him and by consuming His body, we are inherently making Him a part of ourselves. Let us reflect on this most important thought today. Let us also remember the priests all over the world who have been consecrated to celebrate the Holy Mass. Let us not forget that they are our shepherds, leaders and pillars of faith. They follow in the footsteps of the disciples who are the first priests of the church and they were formed on this day. We should note that when a priest blesses the Holy Sacrament, it is truly transformed into the body and blood of Christ by the glory of God. Imagine the importance of the role of a priest in our church. Let us participate in this Mass and contemplate on the true meaning of this important day and also remember our beloved priests, especially our dear parish priest, Father Wellen, and for everything he's doing to us in our parish, most importantly, in this critical time of need. Let us now partake in this celebration of Monday Thursday.
in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the coming of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit my dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ today's liturgy invites all of us to become living eucharist to one another in today's context of covid-19 the stool and the towel is the title of a book which is sums up the message of italian bishop tony bello who died of cancer at the age of 58 on monday thursday of 1993 while on his death bed he dictated a pastoral letter to the priest of his diocese he called upon them to be bound by the stool and the towel the stool symbolizes union with christ in eucharist and the towel symbolizes union with humanity by service the priest is called upon to be united with the lord in the eucharist and with the people as their servant today we celebrate the institution of both the eucharist and the priesthood the feast of the stool and the towel the feast of love and service my dear brothers and sisters today we celebrate three anniversaries the anniversary of first holy mass secondly the anniversary of the institution of ministerial priesthood and thirdly the anniversary of promulgation of jesus new commandment of love love one another as i have loved you today we remember how jesus transformed the jewish passover into the new testament passover and therefore my dear brothers and sisters let us celebrate this eucharist as a thanksgiving eucharist i offer this mass for the intentions of all the parishioners and all those people participating through this youtube channel let us acknowledge all our sins and failures so as to celebrate this eucharist in a worthy manner i confess to almighty god and to, and to you my, my brothers and sisters, sisters for their great sin in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my fault to my fault to my most grievous fault Therefore I ask the blessed Mary of virgin all the angels and saints and to you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the Lord our God may almighty God have mercy on us for his our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen Oh
of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. Let us pray. O oh God, who have called us to participate in this most sacred supper, in which your only begotten Son went about to hand and himself over to death, entrusted to the church a sacrifice new for all eternity, the banquet of his love, grant we pray that we may draw from so great a mystery the fullness of charity and to end of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. First reading, Ordinances for the Passover of the Lord. A reading from the book of Exodus, chapter 12, verses 1 to 8 and verses 11 to 14. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the, Lord of e in the land of Egypt, This month shall be for you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year for you. Till all the congregation of Israel, that on the tenth day of this month, they shall take every man a lamb according to their father's houses. A small for a lamb, then a man and his neighbor next to his house shall take according to the number of persons, according to what each can eat. You shall make account for the lamb. Your lamb shall be taken without blemish, a male a year old. You shall take it from the sheep or from the goats, and you shall keep it until the fourteenth day of this month. Then when the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill their lambs in the evening, then they shall take some of the blood and put it on two door, door posts and the lintel of the houses in which they eat them. They shall eat the flesh that night, roasted with unleavened bread and bitter herbs they shall eat it. In this manner you shall eat it your lions girded, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and you shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. For I will pass through the land of Egypt that night, and I will smite all the firstborns in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and on all the gods of Egypt I will execute judgments. I am the Lord. The blood shall be a sign for you upon the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and no plague shall fall upon you to destroy you, when I smite the land of Egypt. This day shall be for you a memorial day, and you shall keep it as a feast to the Lord. Throughout your generations, you shall observe it as an ordinance forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Glory to you, O Gospel of John chapter 13 verses 1 to 15 Before the feast of the Passover when Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart out of this world to the Father having loved his own who were in the world 
he loved them to the end and during supper when the devil had already put it into the heart of Judas Iscariot Simon's son to betray him Jesus knowing that the father had given him all things in his hands and that he had come from God and was going to God rose from supper laid aside his garments and girded himself with a towel when we poured water into the basin and took to wash the disciples feet and to wipe them with the towel with which he was girded he came to Simon Peter and Peter said to him Lord do you wash my feet Jesus answered him what I am doing you do not know now but afterwards you will understand Peter said to him you shall never wash my feet Jesus answered him if I do not wash you you have no part in me Simon Peter said to him Lord not my feet only but also my hands and my head Jesus said to him he who has bath does not need to wash except for his feet but he is clean all over and you are clean but not, not all of you for he knew who was to betray him that was why he said you are all not clean when he had washed their feet and taken his garments and resumed his place he said to them do you know what I have done to you you call me teacher and Lord and you are right for so I am if I then your Lord and teacher have washed your feet you also ought to wash one another's feet for I have given you an example that you also should do as I have done to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. During the German occupation of Poland, the birthplace of Saint Pope John Paul II, there was a Franciscan friar, Maximilian Kolbe. In 1941, he was arrested and sent to Nazi camp, where in terrible circumstances, he continued to work as a priest and offer solace to fellow inmates. One of the prisoners escaped from the concentration camp and the Nazi guards selected 10 people to be starved to death in punishment. One among the 10 cried loudly thinking of his wife and children. Father Colby came forward and volunteered to die in the place of the stranger. He was later canonized as a martyr. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, we listen to the first reading, the procedure of celebrating the Paschal Feast. At the end of the first reading, taken from Exodus chapter 12 verses 14 says this day shall be for you a memorial day and you shall keep it as a feast to the Lord throughout your generations you shall observe it as an ordinance forever 
it was given as a commandment to them by the lord the people of israel also were observing this feast every year even jesus as a faithful jew celebrated this feast for 32 years in his life but this paschal feast did not find fulfillment in itself like the pascha of jesus christ jesus asked his disciples to prepare for the usual passover feast in luke's gospel chapter 22 verse 8 to 11 we see the last supper in the upper room is transformed from the old passover meal to the new paschal meal he transformed the unleavened bread and wine in his body and blood he instituted holy eucharist as sign of his unending presence and to unite the entire humanity as one flock this is the mystery of a faith we read in the second reading saint paul letter to first corinthians chapter 11 verses 26 for as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup you proclaim the lord's death until he comes this is the proclamation of our faith in every holy mass jesus binds us by his blood and his father in this sacrificial offering jesus himself is a high priest he was like any other any of us except sin he did not feel ashamed to call us as his brothers this is how he came to relate with us in fellowship and freedom and paved a way to partake in his holy priesthood first peter chapter 2 verse 9 we read you are a chosen people a royal priesthood a holy nation god's special possession we live out this royal priesthood in our daily life sacrifices when someone approaches with a request that her child is in a critical stage and asked to lend rupees 1000 and promised to give back as early as possible you are ready to give that amount when you have only that much in your pocket when everyone is ready to receive bribe under their table you stand for your christian value that i will not get any bribe to do my duty is living sacrifice when a mother gives the end of food to her children and goes to bed with the empty stomach she offers herself as a living holocaust although he had insulted me and abused me in front of kitten kin yet you are able to forgive him is a living holocaust in our day to day life when we are able to become become a holocaust the commandment of the lord love one another as i have loved you is being fulfilled jesus sacrificed himself for our sins if he can why can't we i can hear your mind voice saying that jesus was son of god we are just fragile human beings my dear brothers and sisters i would like to remind you about saint maximilian kolbe about whom i spoke at the beginning of my sermon it is possible with our own strength holy eucharist gives us the strength to offer life holocaust the priests have to manifest christ self sacrifice in their servanthood now let us move to the second important aspect of today's liturgy in today's gospel one by one jesus kneels on the floor in front of each disciple one by one the water of his love washes over the feet of the each disciples no one is left out not even judas is carried all are washed all are loved there is a place for everyone in the loving embrace of jesus 
coming liturgy holds before us a choice like no other liturgy in the church here the choice is about vulnerability intimacy and love it is in some way more challenging more real more bodily than many of us are comfortable with most days it is pretty easy to come to church we sing we pray we receive communion then we go to dinner with the family and friends we can too easily forget the challenges the risks the vulnerability and the intimacy of eating the body and the bread of another person jesus christ tonight is different there will be body and blood but there will be also be feet maybe tonight however is not as different as we think the risk vulnerability and intimacy of eating is body and blood are the same risk vulnerability and intimacy of washy feet humble self giving love tonight jesus offers his life in bread wine and washing by his example and command we are to remove shoes and socks of another receiving their feet their life in our hands and wash we are to remove our shoes and socks place our feet our life in the hands of another and to be washed this is the way of christ the way of love it is a choice not just for tonight but for every day and every night not just in the liturgy but in the world deep intimate love is i believe what attracts and draws someone to this liturgy i wonder though if it is also what keeps many others away it is why some will wash and be washed and many will not tonight however is not simply a choice of whether to wash feet but a choice to love or not to love jesus chose to love not some but all that is the choice before us we cannot choose to love only those whom we like whom we deem deserving for whom we have good feelings those who look think or act like us it is all or nothing if we do not love all we love none love for jesus is not about feeling or emotions but about a choice in jesus teaching if you have feet you get washed regardless of where those feet have been or where they are going this is the example of commandment he sets before his disciples and us self emptying is not relevant it is prophetic try it get down on your knees in front of someone you love or better still in front of a complete stranger gently remove their shoes and socks see the calluses the manicured feet the twisted joints of the one who suffers from arthritis take that food in your hands splash warm water on it feel the tension the relaxation and then look up into your eyes to recognize the new intimacy your bond had been forged between one who serves and the served ritual brings barriers that we struggle to maintain don't accept to be comfortable challenging perhaps consoling hopefully food washing unites us with a self emptying christ it opens a door to the mystery of god self giving that we celebrate during these three days whether food washing eucharistic self giving or self surrender on the cross each opens the door to the same mystery god gives 
the divine self in jesus for the life of the world this year we are not able to encounter christ in the eucharist directly let us encounter him in the vulnerable even in our lockdown stage we can reach out to those in need by living a parcel of meal groceries vegetables left on a doorstep a contribution to those whom we know in financial crisis etc my dear brothers and sisters the message for today is let us all become a living eucharist for one another amen as we celebrate day of priesthood today in a very special way we pray for the whole church leaders of the church all the priests and religious especially praying for our parish priest and all our parishness bringing all our prayers and petitions in this altar and offer to the lord For the Pope, the bishops, the clergy, and the religious, that in their pastoral ministry they may assume the attitude of humble services, just as Jesus showed at the Last Supper when He washed the feet of His disciples. We pray, Lord, may the Eucharist enrich us. For the priests all over the world who celebrate that feast day, that they may become shining examples of the divine light. We pray. Lord, may the Eucharist enrich us. For the priests who run the parishes day in and day out, that in the difficult task of parish ministry, they may be assisted by the Divine Lord, whose representatives they are. We pray, Lord, may the Eucharist enrich us for vocations to priesthood and religious life, that the pastors may identify prospective candidates. And invite them to a dedicated service in the church. We pray, Lord, may the Eucharist enrich us. For all of us present in this Eucharistic assembly, that through active participation in the Eucharist. Year after year, we may grow closer to the Lord, who offers His body and blood for our spiritual nourishment. We pray, Lord, may the Eucharist enrich us. Let us pause for a while and pray for our personal intentions. Very specially, special way, we pray for all the priests, the priests whom we know, our former parish priests, our present parish priests. Bring before the Lord 
let the Lord be their guide and fulfill all their dreams. We also, in a very special way, we pray for the people who are affected by COVID-19. We know we are not able to celebrate this feast in our parish church. We know the situation around is very critical. Bring before the Lord all our pains, all our worries, that the Lord takes care of us in the coming day. The Eucharist, Lord, blessed, bless each of us today, our family members. We also pray for all those people whom we promised our prayers, that we enjoy good health these days. We pray for each one of us, name each one, our husband, wife, children, parents, elders in the family, offer each one in this altar and pray for them. Lord, as we celebrate this great feast of Paschal mystery, Lord, bless each of us, especially our family, all our dreams today. Lord, let, let these three days, the coming days, Holy Week, be the days of prayer and reflections in our families. That we read the passion, death and resurrection of our Lord as a family. That we reflect stations of the cross and make use of the time in a very meaningful way. Bless me, bless our family. This prayer we make through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Chasing pretty rainbows Are you tired of spinning round and round? Wrap up all the shattered dreams of your life At the feet of Jesus lay them down Give them all, give them all, give them all to Jesus. Shattered dreams, wounded hearts, broken toys. Give them all, give them all, give them all to Jesus. And He will turn your sorrows into joy. Never said it all, this is sunshine. He never said there'd be no rain. He only promised us a heart full of singing. That's the very thing that once brought rain. Give them all, give them all, give them all to Jesus. Shattered dreams, wounded hearts, broken ties. Give them all, give them all, give them all to Jesus. And He will turn your sorrows into joy. Oh, 
Are you tired of chasing pretty rainbows? Are you tired of spinning round and round? Wrap up all the shattered dreams of your life And at the feet of Jesus lay them down Give them all, give them all Give them all to Jesus That the dreams, wounded hearts, broken tongues And he will turn your sorrows into joy. And he will turn your sorrows into joy. Three brothers, my sacrifice and yours may be accepted to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and for the good of all this holy church. Grant, grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this, this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for He is the true and eternal Priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was of the first to offer himself as the saving victim. Commanding us to make this offering as, the, as his memorial, as we eat his flesh and was sacrificed for us, we were made strong, and as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean, and so, with the angels and archangels, with the thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of our glory, as without end we are clean. Merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. 
that you accept and bless these gifts these offerings these holy and unblemished sacrifices which we offer you firstly for your holy catholic church be pleased to grant her peace to god unite and govern her throughout the whole world together with your servant francis our pope need the northern our bishop and all those who holding to the truth hand on the catholic and apostolic faith remember lord your servants let us bring before the lord all those whom we remember today and pray for all of them and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you for them we offer you the sacrifice of praise or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you the eternal god living and true celebrating the most sacred day on which our lord jesus christ was handed over for our sake and in communion with those who memory we venerate especially the glorious ever virgin mary mother of our god and lord jesus christ and blessed joseph her spouse your blessed apostles and martyrs peter and paul andrew james john thomas james philip fatlemeu matthew simon and jude linus cletus clement sixtus cornelius cyprian lawrence john and paul cosmas and damian and all your saints we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help through christ our lord amen therefore lord we pray graciously accept this oblation of our sacred service that of our whole family which we make to you as we observe the day on which our lord jesus christ handed on the mysteries of his body and blood for his disciples to celebrate all our days in our in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal and counted among the flock of those you have chosen through christ our lord amen be please oh god we pray to bless acknowledge and approve this offering in every respect make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved son of our lord jesus christ on that day before he was to suffer for our salvation and the salvation of all that is today he took bread in his holy and venerable hands and with eyes raised to heaven to you who god is almighty father giving you thanks he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you
in a similar way when supper was sended he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands and once more giving you thanks he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of Him. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memory of the blessed passion, the resurrection and the death, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to you your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel and just the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts we be born by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who to this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing remember lord your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace let us offer all the deceased members of our family in a very special way all those people who died in COVID-19 we pray for their souls grant them O Lord we pray and all who sleep in Christ a place of refreshment light and peace to us also your servants who those sinners Hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints, admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not being our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Through him, 
you continue to make all these good things so oh lord you sanctify them fill them with life bless them and bestow them upon us Trugin niti maningin in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours almighty father forever and ever At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to sing. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we wait, blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you set out, set your apostles. Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the feet of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with will. who live and reign forever and ever the peace of the lord be with you all be and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace peace be with you receiving of the of your body and blood lord jesus christ not bring me to judgment and condemnation but through your loving mercy be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy be god the lamb of god Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen.
let us pray grand almighty god that just as we are in you by the supper of your son in this present age so we may enjoy his banquet for our eternity who lives and reigns forever and ever amen the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless us the father and the son and the holy spirit amen dear brothers and sisters this night is a very important night for all of us we know this night we are supposed to reflect the passion and death of our lord jesus christ and therefore i request all of you to remain in your house and pray to the eucharistic lord as the family kindly take the bible and read the passion narrative and reflect and pray as a family may the eucharistic lord bless all of us all our sufferings and i request all of you to pray for me and also pray for our parish let us all kneel down Dear brothers and sisters let us all 
pray earnestly to god the eucharistic lord is a mistress he is coming to bless our homes the place where we are right now offer to him all our sufferings all our problems pray for one another pray for peace in the family pray for the people who are affected by covid-19 pray for the people who are hospitalized people who has no one offer to the lord that the eucharistic lord as he suffered on the cross he may give the heart to withstand all the problems all the difficulties and the lord is coming to bless the eucharistic lord is coming to bless each and every family each and every member each one
let us pray oh god who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion grant us we pray so to remember the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may always experience in ourselves the fruit of your redemption who live and reign forever and ever Sacrament